Spanning around 340,000 kilometres, the Great Barrier Reef is big. Bigger than Italy, in fact, and like Italy, it can be seen from outer space. Its beauty is undeniable. Its marine life is thriving, but its future is in doubt. This group of experts is in a big hurry to intervene and try and stop the reef's decline. A mix of government officials, marine scientists and environmental advocates. The Foundation works with its network of scientists and reef managers to identify, develop and fund priority research and to support adoption of that research into reef management practices. This includes tools like e-reefs that will provide for the reef information akin to that provided by the Bureau of Meteorology using a suite of models from catchment to ocean and the visual technology that communicates this information enabling reef managers, policy makers and users to report on what has happened to the reef, forecast what might happen in the future and run scenarios around actions that can be taken to protect the reef. Just as important is knowledge about how change is taking place in the vital signs of reef health. Things like the health of corals and fish and the habitats they live in. The Foundation is involved in a range of projects that use innovative methods to measure these changes and communicate them. The Foundation is also at the forefront of efforts to develop solutions that will help to increase the resilience of the reef to threats such as climate change. For example, did you know that we have more than 500 species of coral on the Great Barrier Reef, but we have DNA for only two of those species, leaving us with very little information about how they might adapt to a climate changing. A foundation-led consortium is working both here and in Saudi Arabia to bridge this gap in our knowledge and identify ways we might build the natural resilience of coral species. Some of it is still terrific. Some of it has been, we've damaged. Um, inshore towards the south, um, yeah, you know, it's, it's been hurt a bit. So, a strategic assessment was initiated with the public's involvement to pinpoint threats. But it's not just the reef at risk here. The reef is worth over $5 billion a year to the Queensland and to the Australian economies. Ove Hergelberg is one of the world's leading marine scientists. The long-term surveys are showing about a 50% reduction in, in reef building corals. 50%? I know, it's quite a, quite a large number. That coral is home for all the fish, turtles and other forms of life in the sea. Wow, you can see the damage. You really can, can't you? Yeah. But this comes down to the three things that seem to be affecting the reef right now. Crownathorn starfish, cyclones, and bleaching from warming sea temperatures. Russell Reichelt is the chief executive of the agency enforcing law on the reef. He has much to do. The quality of the water running from the land into the ocean, and it's got four or five times more sediment and nutrient, and it has herbicides in some places. That, that's a serious thing over a big area. While extreme weather makes it difficult to manage threats, a long-term sustainability plan is being developed to improve water quality manage crown of thorns starfish and investigate cyclone damage quickly to prioritise areas in need. I've now been coming to the reef in far north Queensland since the 70s and I've never seen it like this. It breaks my heart to see some of the damage that has been done. The reality is that these scientists are doing an extraordinary job in trying to help the reef rehabilitate. But we all need to do so much more if it's going to be around for future generations. Research is an essential part of this, in particular research that focuses on the knowledge and tools reef managers need to protect, restore and enhance the wonderful beauty that is our reef. Why does it mean so much to you? The complexity, um, the number of different fish, just the plain beauty of it um, is fantastic and if my grandchildren couldn't see that, I'd be really sad and I'd do anything to ensure they can.